Walker, because coming up next, Joan, with one of the greatest of the world's folk singers, Gordon Lightfoot. And for two decades now, Gordon Lightfoot has been really a mainstay of contemporary music from the folk songs of the 60s to the love songs of the 70s and the 80s. And he's touring the United States now with his new album. It is called Shadows. In the past, of course, he has had hits like If You Could Read My Mind and The Wreck of Edmund Fitzgerald. And good morning to you. How are you? Hello. Um, you're back on the road now touring with this new album. How is that different today than it was when... Because you haven't, if I understand correctly, you haven't toured with a record tour for 15 years. Is that right? Something like that, yes. Uh, it uh, there comes a certain point uh, when it seems the necessary thing to do, and I thought that uh, it would be appropriate to do it at this time. Why? Because uh, we all like to play a lot. <laughs> uh, we want to keep playing, and... Uh, Sometimes you just got to get out there and go the full nine yards and uh, go to work on your record. Instead of just letting it sit there and hope that uh, somebody else is going to do something with it. You don't like to be called a folk singer anymore, do you? You don't well, consider uh, yourself one, I don't think. You can call me a survivor of the folk era, if you like. I wish there were many of us. But uh, it's, uh, it's just, uh, as a total field, it doesn't uh, exist anymore like it's a professional field, so... I would go more uh, adult contemporary or something like that. Well, the whole folk era, and your music too, it was really kind of, uh, a lot of it came out of the turbulence of the time. Do you see the, the folk type of music ever coming back? You mean as a, as a wave? Mm -hmm. uh, another you, another, another new wave? wave? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it could. Uh, I, I think that uh, I don't see it uh, immediately. Uh, you know, I see things like jazz happening a lot. Uh, as a field, uh, you know, as a, as a field, I don't see it happening uh, Not really? immediately, no. It was just something that came and went. What but made you, why, But why do some people endure? What has made you endure uh, all this time, do you think? Have you reflected on it to really have a handle mm -hmm. on that? Was it uh, Stephen Leacock had an old saying that uh, he said, I really believe in luck, and the harder I work, the more luck I have. <laughs> the harder I work, the luckier I get. <laughs> the luckier I get, yeah, there, there you go. You started out, though, in all the, the little small coffee houses, and, and I, I, didn't you start out as a Bars, drummer lounges. and as even a dancer? Yeah, uh, I was a dancer one time. I was a hoofer. I was a choral performer on television uh, in very early in my career. Was it real hard starting in those days? Uh, no harder than it is now. Probably easier. Easier then? Yeah, because there's so many different uh, directions to go in these days, you know. It's, what, what do you tell young Things people get confused. today? I mean, I'm sure that they all look to you and say, I'd like to be where you are. What do you tell them? Well, one of the very biggest advantages uh, that they can have is to be able to write their own material. Mm. That's called real good talent. Yeah, if you can do it. But it, 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 there again, it's the Armstrong method. I mean, you you got to work at it. Yeah. You do a lot of your work on your own. Uh, you're your own manager, and that's that's not the norm. I think your sister helps you with a lot of the business. Why is that? Well, I had management for uh, quite a few years, and uh, I sort of gave it up for Lent after a few years. <laughs> and decided to do it myself because it, uh, uh, of course, I like I have an office that runs. My sister runs my office, as a matter of fact, my sister Beverly. But uh, I like to uh, preside over my own career and make my own decisions rather than have someone make them for me seems like a lot of, of uh, musicians particularly have gone awry because of bad management. That's something I guess a young person starting out would have to be really careful of. Uh, it's, it's good to be able to find a manager and then if, you can, if it's not a good relationship and uh, you don't survive it, uh, then you can keep on going if you have the uh, staying power. Is commercial success real super important to you now or are you just... <clears throat> uh... Well, it is when, uh, when you consider the fact that, uh, that we have all of our people and we uh, we like to get out there and play, and uh, so it's good to uh, have some commercial success from time to time. Well, good luck with the new album. 